Yeti Crab Farms How they feed a deep sea city the Yeti Crab, scientifically known as Kiwa Hirsuta, truly is a remarkable discovery from the deep ocean. These creatures were first found near hydrothermal vents in the Pacific Ocean and immediately captivated scientists with their unusual appearance at those incredibly fluffy claws are unlike anything else we've seen. It's easy to imagine them being cute and cuddly, but there's so much more going on than just a fuzzy exterior. Those long hair like structures aren't simply decorative there, actually vital for the crab's survival and play, an incredibly important role in their ecosystem. They are essentially cultivating bacterial farms. Stick around. You're about to learn something wild. But first, tap like and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next mind. The Yeti crab's existence is truly remarkable when you consider where it lives. These incredible creatures are found exclusively near hydrothermal vents deep within the Pacific Ocean places that feel more like another planet than our own. Sunlight never reaches these depths, plunging them into perpetual darkness. And rather than a lack of life, these vents teem with unique organisms, but also release incredibly high concentrations of toxic chemicals like hydrogen sulfide and methane. It's an environment most living things would find instantly lethal, yet the Yeti crab thrives there, somehow utilizing those very chemicals to survive. Take a closer look at those incredible claws. They're unlike anything else you'll find in the deep sea. The Yeti crab's claws aren't just for grabbing food. They're actually miniature ecosystems. Covering each claw is an astonishingly dense forest of seta, which are tiny, hair-like structures. These seta dramatically increase the surface area available and this is absolutely key to their survival. It provides a perfect home for chemosynthetic bacteria microscopic organisms that create energy from chemicals instead of sunlight. The Yeti crab essentially farms these bacteria, providing them with a safe place to live while simultaneously feeding off the nutrients they produce. This remarkable symbiotic relationship is what allows the Yeti crab to thrive in such harsh, nutrient-poor environments. The truly remarkable thing about these crabs isn't just their fuzzy appearance, but how they survive in this otherwise barren environment. They rely on a fascinating partnership with bacteria that live on their legs a living garden of sorts. These bacteria are primarily sulfur, oxidizing microbes, tiny organisms that feed off the hydrogen sulfide spewing from hydrothermal vents. Through a process called chemosynthesis, these microbes essentially create food from chemicals. It's like photosynthesis, but instead of using sunlight, they use chemical energy to produce sugars and other nutrients providing the Yeti crab with its primary source of sustenance. These incredible creatures don't just passively benefit from their bacterial gardens, they actively cultivate them. Yeti crabs are meticulous groomers, constantly tending to these colonies on their claws. They possess specialized mouthparts, almost like tiny brushes which they use to carefully clean and maintain the bacteria's growth. This grooming isn't random, it's a deliberate process, ensuring a robust and continuous food source for the crab. It's truly remarkable how they manage this symbiotic relationship, essentially farming their own meals with incredible precision. What's truly remarkable about the Yeti crab is this incredible farming behavior. 
It's a practice unlike anything else we see in crustaceans. These crabs cultivate bacteria on their feathery legs, essentially creating miniature gardens of microbial life. The bacteria feed off chemicals seeping from hydrothermal vents like sulfur compounds and in turn, provide the crab with a nutritious meal. This isn't just a passive relationship the Yeti crab actively grooms these bacterial colonies, ensuring they thrive. It's an incredibly direct and symbiotic partnership where both species benefit immensely. No other crustacean demonstrates such a specialized and intentional reliance on bacteria for sustenance. These incredible crabs errant just sustaining themselves, they're inadvertently creating vital resources for others in this harsh environment. The bacterial mats that thrive on their claws, those fluffy, snow-like structures are teeming with life. Think of it as a tiny underwater farm growing directly on the crab itself. These mats become a crucial food source for other deep sea creatures like sea anemones and small worms, which congregate around the Yeti crab. In essence, each crab is fostering its own mini ecosystem, a localized hub of activity and nourishment in an otherwise barren landscape. It's a beautiful example of how even seemingly simple organisms can play such a complex and significant role in shaping their surroundings. This incredible bacterial farming isn't just a quirky habit for Yeti crabs, it's absolutely essential to their lives and plays a vital role in deep sea ecosystems. These bacteria aren't parasites, they're providing the crab with food. The crabs cultivate these chemosynthetic bacteria on their feathery legs, creating a living garden of sorts. The bacteria use chemicals spewing from the hydrothermal vents to produce energy, which then nourishes the crab. This unique relationship forms the base of a surprisingly complex food web around these vent communities other creatures feed on the Yeti crabs, and even smaller organisms benefit from the bacterial mats they carry. It's an elegant example of interdependence in one of Earth's most extreme environments. This constant activity isn't just for exploration, it's absolutely vital to their survival. You see, these crabs are incredibly proactive in managing their food source, the bacteria that thrive around hydrothermal vents. They don't simply wait for the bacteria to come to them. Instead, they actively seek out new vents with flourishing bacterial colonies or diligently tend to existing ones, carefully removing debris and ensuring optimal conditions for growth. This careful management guarantees a remarkably stable food supply in an otherwise harsh environment, allowing these incredible creatures to flourish where few others can. These hydrothermal vent communities aren't just random collections of organisms, they're complex ecosystems built around a unique form of chemosynthesis. The Yeti crabs play a vital role in this process by cultivating bacterial mats on their feathery legs, essentially creating miniature farms. These bacteria consume chemicals released from the vents, primarily hydrogen sulfide, and convert them into energy, rich compounds. The crabs then graze on these bacterial mats, providing themselves with sustenance. It's an incredibly efficient symbiotic relationship. The bacteria get a stable habitat and consistent supply of chemicals while the Yeti crabs get a reliable food source in an otherwise barren environment. Observing how these Yeti crab farms function offers invaluable insights into deep 
sea ecosystems and the remarkable adaptations life can achieve.